So we have started talking about growth mindset since the very big first week of school, right? Since the beginning of school. So raise your hand and tell me how would you describe growth mindset to someone who's not familiar with that terminology? Alex. I would describe it as... The learning goals need to be very clear for students. They need to be posted. We need to discuss them. We need to be able to refer to them several times throughout the lesson. So if that means putting them on the flip chart, having them on the whiteboard, referring back to them throughout the lesson. Do you know what that's called when you're having that conversation in your head and you're thinking about your thinking? Olivia? Metacognition. Metacognition. So we've talked about that this year also that when you're aware of your thinking, you can change things. You have the power, right guys, to change your actions, how you're feeling about things, outcomes. It's a ripple effect. And I think internal summaries are something that are just so valuable in a lesson. Going and talking about where are we with the objective? What, where are we in understanding that? What have we done so far that's driving us to that objective? Checking in with students, referring back to it, having them discuss the learning objective and where we, what we've learned so far to help us to understand that. Okay, so today we're going to talk about self-talk and what that means and how it's related to growth mindset. So our objective for our Goal Golden today is I am learning to use positive self-talk. Okay, so positive self-talk gives me the power to control the focus of my mind. What does that mean? Reread it if you need to. What do you think that means? I love how reflective you're being right now. Harlan? Maybe. Uh, Are they going to really be able to master every single objective every single day? Mastery looks different in every lesson depending on where you are in the unit. Our big question today is what is positive cell talk and how is it connected to the growth mindset? So I've got some thought bubbles up here. Why don't you read that for me, Grayson? It's going to be okay. Do you ever tell yourself that? Yeah, yeah it's, gonna, it's gonna be okay. Do I tell you that? This summer I went to a workshop and one of the things discussed is adjusting our objectives to I am learning. So it is truly more kid friendly that I am in the process of mastering this in the objective. I'm working towards it. And if I don't get it today, growth mindset, I'll get it tomorrow. So I'm gonna keep working towards that. All right, boys and girls. So we're gonna do a stick it together activity today to see if we can come up with some better options. But let's just talk a minute more about self-talk and look at some options. So these are all examples of what? What's our objective today? What are these examples of? Caroline? Um, to have a good mm -hmm. And what else? To change, um, learning to Use yeah, so these are all examples of how um, we can basically have this dialogue in our head so that when we feel that negative train coming down the tracks, we can redirect it into a more positive direction, okay? So I want you to turn and talk to your partner and decide which one of these do you really connect with and why. In the activity that you saw today, the Stick It Together, on the sheet itself, there are seven checklist items that the students need to fulfill. And so we actually have a job for that and they have to look for bumping up vocabulary. So we're going to do our Stick It Together activity now. And um, I have groups for you uh, set up. So our big essential question for our growth mindset Stick It Together is what can you say instead of, is this good enough? Why is this a better choice. So remember, we've done this throughout the year where you take a post-it, you have some private think time to fill out your post-it. Then your group comes together and you decide on your best answer, okay? Keeping in mind your checklist of things that you need in your best answer. When each person in your group has had an opportunity to fill out their post-it, then you can go ahead and start collaborating on your best answer. Be mindful of your checklist. This is a better choice because you guys are doing fantastic. Okay. Instead of saying, I can't do this, you can say, I can do this. I can make my work better. 
You can also tell yourself, this is good, because you always need to believe that you can get the answer right. This can also help you learn from your mistakes. Now guys, what a phenomenal job you did today. I just can't even tell you. Your answers were insightful, they were concise, they were well thought out. All right guys, so I want you to give me a fist to five. How are you feeling about adopting or incorporating or trying positive self-talk in your daily life? Give me a fist to five. A fist, I don't think I'm gonna take this strategy. Five, I think I need to try this every day. We, when yeah. I need students to reflect on their learning or their understanding of a lesson, there are several different strategies that I use. As simple as a fist to five, a fist, we joke around, I wasn't even really in the room, Miss Olamp, my brain was somewhere else. A five is I could probably teach the lesson to a third grader. Good. I will Thank question you. them. Um, and based on their fist of five, sometimes that's how I decide how my small group is going to be. So I'll pull those that are a zero to two, and those will be my small group friends for that day. So that reflection piece is critical for me going forward in the lesson. I may have an idea of who I want to pull that day. Well, sometimes things just don't work out like you plan. So using that reflection piece is really helpful. Okay, excellent. Guys, give yourselves a round of applause. You were rock stars today.